Let's continue our introduction to Solaris and Karma by starting to build out our final scene. So this project file will be available on Patreon. If you want to grab it, you can do so on there. But let's go ahead and drop down a SOP create. And we can dive in there to start building out our actual scene. So let's drop down a grid to create the background. So I'm gonna make this a 20, 20 by 10 should work. And then let's drop down a transform and a merge. And let's merge these together. And I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this by 90 degrees and move this up by five. Is that right? Yeah. And then let's move this back by 10 or nope, it was five. Just so that we have this kind of sitting at the back there. And then we can drop down another merge. Set our display flag there, and we'll drop down a box, to start building out our little stage where all of our objects are gonna go. So we'll wire that on there, and let's drop down a match size as well. Just so that we can easily set this on the ground plane or our grid. And let's take this box, let's make it maybe like a three by three, and then we'll make this be like point two. And we need to establish our camera angle. So let's take, uh, let's jump actually back out to the stage context and well, let's, let's move this back actually first before we do that. So I'm gonna drop another merge because we're gonna merge everything into here and I just wanna push everything back. So let's drop down a transform. And let's move this kind of back somewhere like that. So if we jump back up to the stage context now, let's set up a camera angle for us. So we want something kind of low, not too low, maybe something like this. So let's control click on our camera and maybe let's zoom in just a little bit. And something like that for now. You can always come back and change this later, but let's go ahead and leave it like this for now. But if we jump into our SOP create, we want to be able to see through our camera in here. We don't have the ability to do that, so we need to jump into the OBJ context and drop down a LOP import camera. Click on that little button right there and we'll select our camera. Then we'll click this. And then let's just select our camera one and press OK. Now it's going to move that camera into place. So if we jump back to the stage context and jump into our top create, we have our camera in here as well. And we can look through that and check our modeling in there. And that will automatically update if we change our camera at all. So let's start to build some of this out now. So let's just take this box and this match size, let's duplicate them over. And I'm gonna take this and just, actually before I do anything else, I'm gonna set this justify to none, just so it's not affecting anything else. Cause I'm gonna transform this probably just directly in here. So let's move this forward in the Z and let's set this down to like 0.075. And I don't want it to be as long in here as this front one or the, the main one. So let's make this maybe two. And then also I don't want it to be as thick. So let's do like 0.4 and we can move this forward. Just move it forward out just so it's sticking out. And let's get out of our camera for this. And maybe, yeah, something like that should be, should be fine. Let's duplicate maybe this one so we can alt click and drag. And then let's uh, actually, again, I'm going to come in here and just set this to none. And let's start to mess with 
the size of this. Oops. Wire this into the merge. So that's obviously way too big. Maybe something like that. It really doesn't matter. This is all your you know, personal preference. But we're just going to move this kind of into place. And actually, we can, we can just drag this over. Something, maybe something like that. Maybe move it forward. It's, again, I'll click and drag. Create another one. I'm going to make this one bigger and thinner. Let's move it forward and maybe over a little bit. Just trying to create some sort of uh, an interesting type of a look. Again, this is all kind of personal preference on what you want. Doesn't matter too much. Again, just creating something to give us some visual interest. And let's maybe move this over somewhere like that. Be a lot of just duplicating and everything. So we're not worried too much about what we are, our organization looks like because I'll show you a way in a while that we can really organize this super nicely. We need to just kind of black out what we're going to be having as far as what our scene's going to look like. And I want, let's see. So this one, let's take this one and make it a little bit bigger. So we're just kind of blocking out all the boxes first and then we'll come back through and we'll start to assign some, some things to organize everything and make it look the way that we want in the scene graph that is. So let's, roll with that and then maybe one more box we'll put kind of in the middle that is taller and not as bulky kind of more like a pillar type one Something, something like that should be fine. So let's go ahead and look through our camera. And again, we can adjust this. Let's jump back up and let's do just that. Let's maybe zoom in just a little bit. Dive back in here. And again, our camera has updated because it's pulling that all in. And then the last thing that we need, we kind of need that little semicircle on the back. So let's do a circle. And we'll wire that into the merge. Let's put it there for now. And then let's make this more circular. Let's do a reverse. Could flip it around, it doesn't really matter. Let's move this back, just pressing enter in the viewport to bring up these little guides. And I want, it's kinda hard to see here. Let's see, this is closed, okay. Um, let's take this and scale it up. Um, and let's just, uh, I'm having a hard time seeing this in the background. So let's just disable that for now. So maybe just over a little bit. Let's look back through our camera. And I think that should be good for now. And we can start to, we'll tweak this all a little bit more as we go, but we can start to organize this out just a little bit. 
So we need to create the attributes that we need, or the name attributes, so that we don't have just one singular mesh here. So let's go ahead and create an attribute create, or actually let's use the, let's use the name, the name node. So make sure it's on primitive and we can call this BG and we can bring back our background there. And then for now, let's just call these all box. And we can just copy these to each stream. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to come back through later on and I'm going to assign a slightly different name to all these. Um, so I'll change these just depending on um, which material I want to assign to them. Or maybe I'll do that with, with groups. So let's name this one circle. And we can come back up to the stage context. And now we have everything organized to their individual pieces. You can see that we have one piece for each one. So we will go over in the next video how to place all of the little spheres around the scenes and we may do some more cleanup on uh, the assignments assign some groups and stuff so that we can assign materials nicely so we'll cover that all in the next video make sure to check out the other videos in this series if you are interested in learning more about Solaris and Karma, we're gonna be going over how to build out this entire scene and make sure to grab the project file if you're interested in that. It's not necessary, like I said, we'll build everything out, but it does have some extra stuff in it uh, with comments and everything, so you don't have to reference back to the videos if you don't want. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.